So someone poured a dragon roll from Sonic Unleashed to Crash Bandicoot no. 4 by time. Probably a good idea to check it out. So enough chit chatting. Let's get this started. I wonder how radical he really is. So how you access the stage is that to type in this thing and then type in open chun nan. Press enter and that's how you access the stage. You need a tool for this the universal redirector thing. But once you uh get it and you know type it in, it's where we good. It's a car from most of the mods, so so yeah, onto Dragon Road from obviously Sonic Unleash. And this is such a near perfect recreation of the stage. I mean they took I mean obviously they took the um Tonan stage and then port it over to Unreal Engine 4. I mean Crash 4, because I mean well Unreal Engine 4 is the same engine that's uh powering Crash 4. So, I mean since it's on that engine, modding is uh and like porting stuff over is like pretty easy to do, which is nice. So, there isn't a lot of level mods in this game. I mean, probably because, I mean, the game was on Battle.net too, so, like, modding was not that, you know... There was a lot of mods for Crash 4, but, like, it was mainly, like, character mods. And I feel like, I mean, Crash 4 has a lot of potential in terms of, you know, like, level mods in this game. I mean, the controls and everything just works perfectly. So, you know, I'll miss some Akka crate, but it's fine. There's a whole lot of Akka crates actually in this stage too, which is surprising, but... Yeah, hopefully modding, since the game's on Steam now, hopefully modding is more, you know, of modding is more common. I mean, there's a lot of potential in, you know, this game in terms of the modding community. So, I mean, hopefully that's the case. So, this stage fits perfectly with, you know, Crash Bandicoot's gameplay style. I mean, like, it's like, it kind of like, point sandy a little bit. Kind of not really, I mean, it's not like, fully open world. I mean, there's multiple pathways to go through. From Sonic Stage, the obviously, but like it's you know a nice little like stage that fits perfectly with um Crash's uh style of gameplay. I mean, also I can't tell you how many times I love uh Crash Force Physics. Like this is the best controls out of the like in a video game today. Like the controls are so res tight, responsive. It's like jumps are so fluid and like everything is just perfect. Like I mean. Like, I don't think no other, um, video game's gonna top control like this. Like, it's just so perfect. If, um, controls were, like, food, this would have been the best food <laughs> of all time. But yeah, I love Crash Force Control. I feel like it would fit perfectly with a Twin Sandy remake. I feel like a Crash Twin Sandy remake will fit, will be perfect. I mean, like, the whole thing, I mean, the whole trend today is open world games. I mean, like, you have, like, Sonic Frontiers. Spider-Man, you have Horizon, Elden Ring, all that stuff, I mean, so... A game like Twin Sandy, or, you know, a remake of Twin Sandy will fit perfectly with, you know, with today's, uh, you know, friends. And plus, I mean, they can make it a lot better, too, you know, with adding a lot of cut content. That was, you know, cut from the original game, you know, makes up even better, like, it would, like, it would be perfect. I mean, obviously, it connects to Rapid Cortex, so... That'll be a, a big question, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you can remake Crap Cortex, because I mean, like, that game is pretty much very uh, mediocre. But Twin Sandy is, I mean, from what I played, decent. I've never played much Twin Sandy, but from what I play, it's pretty good. Very part of the stage, actually, too. Um, the get on top of the dragon, metal dragon thing, which is nice. There's a whole lot of Aku, Aku crates, actually, too, which is surprising to me. Like, it, like, in the game, you know, the main game, like, it's very uncommon to get, like, there's, like, what, like, I think probably, like, what, three stages, like, you can get three sets of Aku Aku, uh, mask. I feel like there's, like, more checkpoints than Aku Aku crates. I feel like that's the case. I mean, probably because the game's, like, more harder than the previous Crash games. I mean, I want to challenge a bit more, but, I mean, yeah, I kind of noticed that a lot of them playing Crash 4. Nice. Okay. I mean, yeah, they basically carried around the same stage, but I might, might go for like a faster, like, a little speed one. Like, uh, run. We'll see. But, yeah, same with enemies, I mean, it's the same, I mean, it's probably a carry from the first stage, so... I guess supporting over, over, you know, enemies is probably, like, not that, uh, easy to do. Yeah, more checkpoints. I mean, I have infinite lives, so, yeah. I forgot to turn on infinite lives. I mean, I prefer, uh, you know, 
have lives, even though, like, getting lives in this game is very, very easy. But, I, you know, I, I mean, if the lives is fine, but, like, I like, you know, the challenge of, um, lives, I mean, sure, it makes a lot of stuff in, um, Crash 4, you know, better than having lives, so, like, when there's one section in Crash, especially like, later worlds Crash 4, like, you know, mod, like, you know, like, if you use all your lives, you have to go back to stage again, but, like, infinite lives, no worry about that, so. I feel like Crash 4, you know, he just, you know, perfect lesson, you know, on how, like, did better on how, like, infinite lives and lives, you know, work, which I think every game should, uh, take, so. And the Sage already, we're gonna go for another second run, so. Let's go ahead. Okay, so I have to uh, do the whole thing again because when I restart the Sage, all the sounds missing after, you know, in the game. I mean, the music was playing, but with no sounds. So I'd rather have y'all hear, you know, music, voice, and sound instead of hearing, you know, music, voice without sound. So, you know, as seen here, I'm gonna be uh, trying to go as fast as I can. I can have a mod on. So you can type 1, 2, 3, 4 on the keyboard, and what's it called? I'll show you right now. I press one, so like, you know, one, you get the final mass. This one, uh, anti gravity. This one does, um, make, uh, ghosts solid platforms. This one slowed down time, which, uh, pretty needed. The third one, not needed because there's no solid platforms, or well, solid transparent platforms in this stage. I mean, it's the whole stage unleashed, you know. Four over the crash four, but I mean, the condo mass, the anti gravity one, and sword on time is actually you know pretty useful. I mean, and the sword on time one is not really that necessary. I mean, it's usually used for like you know quick time uh, parts in crash four, but I really need to hear. But okay, so I'm trying to see what over there. So I'm gonna go with the anti gravity one. So. There we go. So you can have here. Oh look, it's solid. So I'm just seeing, you know, what can do here. I feel, I feel like you know they could have extended the stage bit more, but I mean, it's all good. What it is. It's so good, you know, with mods. So okay, so there's no. I mean, I think there's supposed to be, you know, flames there. You know, candles, but there's no in here. So anti gravity again. This is very useful for a lot of, uh... I like it using it because, I mean, I like to go out of balance in most stages that don't use it. <laughs> it's very, uh... useful to use. Okay. He probably... ...ported the whole stage. Yeah, the whole stage. Crash 4. Yeah, this is like the Warhog section here. I think it's like one of the DLC stages, actually, too, I think. Maybe. It's been a while since I've played, uh... Warhawk and Unleashed, I mean, because, like, it's, I mean, Warhawk is pretty cool when Unleashed, but I haven't really played much of it. Only reason we played Unleashed was actually the, uh, freaking, um, Day Sages for that one video I did. Okay, this is the boss fight, but it's not really needed, and yeah, we, uh, not solid at all. Whoa! Whoa! 